Just when it looked as though injuries were bringing about a disappointing end to a solid season, Savannah Country Day came through with a stunner last week, knocking off the number 7 ranked team in the state, Johnson County, the second top 10 ranked team the Hornets have upset this season. Friday they'll go to try to make it number 3 as Savannah Country Day travels to Dawson, home of the number 6 ranked team in Class A, Twiggs County. Even with starting quarterback Tate O'Connor out with a leg injury, the high-flying Hornet offense hasn't missed a beat under backup Cord Glaze. Savannah Country Day averages 357 yards of offense a night, nearly 250 of which coming through the air. Junior receiver Kevin Blackburn has 1,050 yards on 53 catches and 9 touchdowns. The Hornet defense, however, has given up an average of 383 yards a game, including 332 rushing yards, since losing linebackers Mac Byers and Zach Krupp to season-ending injuries last month against Calvary Day. The Hornets have missed those two linebackers defensively, and it'll be interesting to see if those injuries will finally catch up to the Hornets against a talented Twiggs County team. This week, I asked Hornet coach Dennis Coyle how the Hornets can carry over the moment momentum from last week's win into Friday night's game against Twiggs. Well, it's great for our kids. They got a lot of confidence. Johnson County is a heck of a football team, and to beat a team of that caliber as you go into the playoffs really does a lot for your confidence. And in high school football, a lot of the game is the confidence and the attitude of your kids. So we're hoping to build upon that and just carry that over to this game this week. And what are a couple of keys uh, your boys are going to need to do on Friday night to come out there with another top 10 uh, upset? The keys are offensively. We're going to have to score some points. They're a very good offensive team and a good defensive team, so we're going to have to be able to move the ball. Our offense has been our strength all year, and we're going to need them to execute and do all the little things right that we do offensively. And our defense has a tough ch task in that they're a very physical football team running the ball. We've had some problems with that this year. We're going to have to stay low off the ball and be physical and uh, control the run. Since losing its first game of the year, Twiggs County has won 9 straight and in that time has averaged 41.3 points a night while surrendering just 6.2 points and has pitched 4 shutouts. The Cobras have a run first offense led by running backs Ernest Butts, David Bell and quarterback Jeremy Stanley. After being thoroughly impressed by Country Day's never quit spirit last week, I find myself torn on this one. On one hand, Country Day has proven itself to be a team much more than some of, of its parts and has definitely earned the respect of any team it faces. On the other hand, logic says at some point the injuries have to catch up to the Hornets. At some point, there was being outnumbered, out-athleticized, and missing several key players due to injuries has to catch up with them. So while I have nothing but respect for Coach Dennis Coyle and his kids, I just have to go with my head and pick Twiggs County. Though Country Day has proven me wrong before, they, and maybe they could do it again, I have to pick the Cobras to win this one, 35-21.